set up your StreamMate profile to use the HD Encoder, log into your StreamMate account, then go to the Support tab and click the HD Encoder option. From there, a page will open up that will display the instructions on how to first check your settings to see if you are able to stream in HD. On page 2, on page 3, you will see the option to download the HD Encoder. There are two versions, one for Windows or PC users and one for Mac users. Download the appropriate version depending on the computer that you are using. Following that, on page 4, you will see the different settings that are available to use within your HD encoder. There are the recommended quality settings, the medium quality settings, and the lower quality settings. There are two versions of each type of settings, one for Windows and one for Mac users, so be sure that you download the correct version for your computer. The recommended quality settings I would suggest to start with first. Um, these work best if your webcam is optimized for HD video as well as widescreen. If you are uns certain as to whether your webcam is capable of widescreen video, look it up online real quick and check for 16 by 9 aspect ratio within the specs. This will indicate that your webcam is optimized for widescreen video. So if you have any issues at all running the recommended quality settings, then you can alternately try the medium quality settings. And if you continue to encounter any issues such as lag or skipping of your video, maybe high pixelation, then try the lower quality settings. Finally, you will be ready to start the HD encoder on your StreamMate profile. And those directions are on page 8 of the HD setup instructions. In order to configure the settings within your HD encoder, Again, reference page 4, which is entitled Setting up the encoder with the correct settings. These settings are contained in an XML file. Again, there are three different types of settings to choose from. I'd start with the recommended quality settings to see if it is compatible with your computer and your internet connection. So I'm a Windows user, so I'm going to download the Windows version. And I can see that it has downloaded. I'm using Chrome right now um, as my browser. And if I open up the downloaded folder, then you'll see a bunch of coding pop up within a web page. So you can actually close out on this. And assuming that you have already downloaded the HD encoder, go ahead and open it up. Then go to File, Open Profile and locate the settings that you had just downloaded to your computer. So I'm going to go to, oh, here we go, downloads. And you can see I've downloaded this quite a few times just because, you know, testing purposes or what have you. So I'm going to go ahead and select the XML file that I had just downloaded. And this profile validation message will pop up. Just click OK. So it is auto configuring all of the settings into my HD encoder. All you need to do from here is first check that the video box is checked and select the appropriate webcam device that you would like to use for your shows. I am using the Logitech C920. It retails for around anywhere from $65 to maybe $80 online, brand new. Although you can certainly get it remanufactured or used um, on such places like eBay. Just be sure that you are buying from a reputable seller and that they also have some sort of warranty or return policy just in case you encounter any issues with your equipment. The C920 is highly recommended by StreamMate because it's just really ideal for a really clean quality video and it also has the ability to stream in HD and widescreen. So moving on, the next thing you'll want to double check within your encoders is that the input size and the output size are matching. So as you can see, my output size is 864 by 480 and my input size is 800 by 600. I just click the drop down menu and If for any reason you do not settings. see a matching input size within the drop down menu that matches the output size, then simply select under input size the next closest option. So if for instance I did not have this option to do 864 by 480, I'd just select 800 by 448 or 800 by 600. I'd start with 800 by 448 personally, but you could experiment and see what works best for you. So finally, you're going to go over to the very right-hand column of your HD encoder and be sure that Stream to Flash Media Server is selected right here, 
and go ahead and clear out the fields, the FMS URL and the stream code fields um, of your encoder. From there, you're ready to save these settings so that the next time you open up your encoder, these will already be configured and you don't really have to do anything. So I'm going to save these settings as streammate recommended quality. All right, so that's all saved. And now I'm ready to start my streammate show using the HD encoder. So minimize your encoder window then go back to your account dashboard. Click Start My Show Now. And this message might pop up. Just select Allow. And under the Quality drop-down menu, select External Encoding, which is the very bottom option. From there, click the green Start My Show button. And two codes will pop up. One is the FMS URL. The second is the stream code. Copy these codes and paste them into the appropriate sections of your encoder. So I'm going to copy the FMS URL, the first one, and paste it into the FMS URL section of my encoder. Go back and copy the stream code and paste this into your encoder. Maximize your encoder window so it takes up the entire screen. And instead of clicking the Connect button right here, which will not successfully connect the encoder to your Streammate profile, click the green Start button at the bottom of your encoder window. And now I am live on Streammate using the HD encoder. So if I minimize this, you'll see that on my profile end, I will not be able to see myself from my actual Streammate chat. Rather, since you are using the encoder, you will be able to see your live video feed here, but you will not see it from your Streammate chat interface. So whenever you're ready to stop your show, simply, I'm gonna maximize this now, and click Stop. And this will, doing it from your HD encoder will automatically stop your Streammate show. So if you click Stop from your Streammate chat interface, then you would have to go back and click Stop from your HD encoder. So I just prefer to do the encoder way first, but it's whatever floats your boat. I'm going to go through those motions once more so that you will know how exactly to start the encoder from your Streammate chat. This is something you're going to want to do every single time that you go live on Streammate in order to successfully use the HD encoder and retain preferred placement on the site. Alright, so in order to start my show, again, make sure that external encoding has been selected, then click the green Start My Show button, copy the first code, which is the FMS URL, and if you have not already clicked the disconnect button within your encoder from your last live session, then click disconnect and then re-clear out the fields there. And then you can proceed to paste the new codes within your encoder. So I'm going to copy the stream code, paste it, and restart my show. Now a good way to reference whether your encoder coupled with your computer and also your internet connection is handling the recommended settings or whichever settings that you are using, if it is compatible, you can reference the encoding log within your encoder and check out the output FPS and the video bitrate. So my video bitrate under the encoding options tab was set to 800 kbps. I know you can barely see it, but that's what it says. Also, my frame rate is set to 29.97, so roughly 30 frames per second. So if I go to my encoding log, you'll see that my output FPS is right around 30, and my bit rate is also right around 800. So these settings are very compatible with my setup. Um, so I should have a nice clean stream coming through on the streaming end. So I'm going to stop my show here, and whenever you are next logged on, instead of having to click external encoding and go through you know, what your preferences are, if you'd rather receive alerts or not receive audible alerts during your live chat sessions, what you can do is go to the settings tab, and you can select 
what your preferred settings are. That way they are automatically saved to your profile so you don't have to keep tweaking things every single time that you go live on Streaming, which is really convenient. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me at modelinquiry at adultwebcammodel.com. I can also be messaged on Twitter at AWmodel. Thanks so much for watching you guys and have a great day. Take care and have fun on streaming.